It is the 24th of the 8th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. If you haven't noticed, I've been putting up a lot of uh, remix videos lately. I figure I better practice what I preach here. Now the remix button is down below. Feel free to use it, please. Let's get started. Sot.net Stockholm this year. Uh, summer weather was miserable. Now there's proof, says article out of Sweden. According to the Swedish uh, Meteorological and Hydrological Institute, on only six days this summer did the temperature reach more than 25 degrees Celsius in Stockholm. Last year, Stockholm had 28 days with uh, summer weather i.e. days with a minimum temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. This year's just six days met this definition. Four days in July and two in August. Recent summers have not even come close to having as few summer days. Global warming. And they've got a big, like, uh, link bomb story here. Signs of impending global cataclysm in August 2012. And they've got a video uh, YouTube video, I will attach a, a link to that, of course. 14 days of global cataclysm in August 2012, and a bunch of stories. Uh, fireballs impacting the ground, more strange sky sounds, multiple to tornadoes and water spouts, unusual lightning strikes, and it goes on and on. Over to the extinction protocol. Alert level raised on previously extinct Colombian volcano, an eruption would be the first known in recorded history, and I know I've mentioned this before. Uh, according to their scientists, uh, they reported that during uh, the 8th and the 14th of August, seismic activity in the volcano increased. The seismic network uh, recorded 110 magnitude 0.2 to 1.6 events, mainly located in the area about... Uh, half a kilometer northeast of the peak at depths of two to six kilometers. So we got another one gearing up and that's that one that they thought was extinct. Over to the watchers, uh, Pacific, Pacific Tropical Weather Outlook for August 24th. Two powerful typhoons are spinning in the West Pacific water. Uh, Tembin and a huge uh, Belavin are approaching the mainland and this is in China. Uh, Tenmin targets Taiwan, and uh, Balawen is heading for Okinawa and Raikou Island, Japan. There's a possibility that these t two typhoons interact. And uh, Balawen a dangerous strong category 2, and Balawen is heading for the Okinawa Raikou Islands off South Japan and on its way to the coast, back swapping, uh South and North Korea kind of thing. Atlantic Tropical Weather Outlook, two powerful storms are moving through um, North Atlantic water, Tropical Storm Isaac and Tropical Storm Joyce. Isaac is located about 165 miles south of San Pablo, Puerto Rico, and recently upgraded Joyce is located about 1,305 miles east of the Leeward Islands. Another tropical wave located between uh, the west coast of Africa and Cape Verde Islands. Uh, shows sour and thunderstorm activity as it moves westward. Uh, so definitely very, very active. And I know China's, they were saying, has been hit by like six typhoons this month already. Uh, the insanity continues. Over to the RSOE quick. Uh, Pakistan's uh, reporting late monsoon flooding. Uh, they're saying it's not super extreme. Uh, but, you know, again, roofs were collapsed and people were hurt. The forest fires, of course, in California. Uh, where was that one? Flash flood in the Sudan. Got a nuclear event in uh, South Korea. Apparently one of their nuclear reactors has been operating since 1988. Shut itself down uh, due to one of the gauges or whatnot. Uh, they haven't filled out a complete report, but uh, no threat to the community kind of thing. Uh, flash flooding in Las Vegas region of Nevada. Some heavy rains. One teenager was swept away and they're still looking for him. Uh, apparently one of the police helicopters caught some teenagers riding down uh, one of these deluges of water uh, on air mattresses. But uh, he said they all got out okay kind of thing. And of course the, the forest fires around the world in Spain, Canada, Greece. Uh, they're saying half the island of uh, Chios, C-H-I-O-S, 
literally burnt down kind of thing and a heat wave going on in France. Let's go to the nuclear stuff finally tonight. Uh, Yamada, the Z and E news of course. Yamada, we cannot cover Fukushima Daiichi reactors like after Chernobyl. It's more complex than that. And of course, uh, the Japanese didn't even attempt like the Russians to dig under and try to contain this thing. Uh, listen, melted fuel may have broken through concrete under reactors. TEPCO just assuming it didn't, Fukushima Volunteer says in an audio interview. And we all knew. Three. They've already reported the three have melted through. Many Fukushima nuclear wor workers uh, leaving after exceeding exposure limit. Young people must be trained to work at plant, a Tokyo professor is saying. So they're going to start grabbing these kids out of high school when they're still dumb. Six-year-old playing on radioactive waste dump 20 kilometers north of Fukushima Daiichi. Teacher, quote, I'm lying to a room full of students. Fukushima should, city should be evacuated. Reactor specialists on unit number three. I can't tell you if it's a hydrogen explosion or a nuclear explosion. Give me a break. Ah, Japan nuclear expert. Melted fuel may have gone through cement floor and into the ground under Fukushima reactors. I don't believe TEPCO's claim for one second. Where in the world is it? And that's one of the videos I remixed not too very long ago. And, uh, physician, we don't know what's happening. Cesium levels in soil not going down after Chernobyl. Some areas have gotten even higher. And just goes to show, after 30 years, there's just still nothing they can really do about this. <sighs> the insanity continues. Nuclear power is a crime against humanity, and all nuclear reactors should be shut down. Uh, let's take care of it now while we still have a chance, or half a chance. Uh, Ashi government calculations were way off. Anti-nuclear sediment has grown so large it could force change in energy policy. And they're saying that uh, they might just end up voting no nukes in Japan, which would be a very, very good thing. Uh, they've got a hell of a mess to clean up in a few million years to deal with it as we all do. Well, that's about all I'm going to throw at you tonight. Of course, don't forget to remix my videos and pass it along. It's really not about view counts. It's about the amount of videos put out on certain subjects that the supercomputer pays attention to. And uh, we can get the word out that way. At least we'll let them know we're paying attention. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks.